Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is at Shaman Ra coming to you in the dark deliberately because I thought, what the fuck? Why not just, uh, I, you can almost see my eyes in this video. If you see those little two dots of light, those are actually my eyes. Uh, yeah, so this is what is up, my friends. Good things. You know, sorry to be such a whiner or a bitch or an observer all the time. Um, that's just how I am. I just observe things. So today I observed lots of good things. I encountered many miracles, all shapes and sizes, and it, I don't know, it's, it's kind of inconceivable almost. If I if I didn't present evidence to you, you'd be like, you're full of shit, Brandon. You're like, certainly that shit did not happen to you, man. It, it totally did. So my day... You know, I'm walking into town with my backpack. I got the starving artist thing going on my backpack. You know, I make money for no reason. And then I go down, or uptown, sorry. In Sedona, it's uptown. And, you know, I'm, a lady comes up and she asks me, well, what can I gain from the tarot? And, you know, I went on a whole spiel of how he's going to demystify tarot and make it almost scientific while well, at the same time keeping towards the spiritual aspects of it. And so I gave her a reading and made five bucks. That's in addition to me going to the post office and not complaining. I was just telling the lady, hey, you know, I've had this problem in the past where I mail the exact same thing in the same envelope and I get charged differently by different post offices. I just want to make sure that's not going to happen again. You know, I want to make sure I know what I'm going to be paying for before I do this and you know she told me it's 350 I'm like well that sounds good I can I can afford that and but by then you know the line was really long and I was gonna have to go back through the line and you know I'm like oh man this is like take me an hour and so I go and put the drawing in an envelope I'm writing the address on it and as I'm doing this, uh, the fellow who is behind me in line, who had been paying attention to everything I had been talking about up to that point, um, came up to me and he's like, here, here's, here's a miracle. Here's $10. That should cover the costs of the you mailing the drawing. And so all of a sudden I had $10 in the ability to mail this drawing, even if they tried to rip me off, you know what I mean? I've experienced things like this all day. I mean, like yesterday even. You know, I got the weed out of nowhere. I got, you know, money out of nowhere here. And then I actually did some things to earn the money. And holy fuck, I feel good about it. You know, it's it's been a really good day. And I think the next two days are going to be fucking bomb diggity. And then I received some help from my mom. You know, and she doesn't have to do that. I want to really not have to do that. But... You know, thank you, Mom. I know you're probably not going to witness this through Steemit or anything, but if you see the YouTube video, I want to say thank you, Mother. You're an amazing mother. Do not be down on yourself for anything that you may feel guilty for in your raising of me. You did a fine job of raising a person in an environment where basically everything outside of yourself is kind of designed to fucking hold you back. You know, you did a fucking good job. My dad did a good job. My friends do a good job, the ones that put up with me. Um, yeah, so I mean, everything's going better, and I can tell it's going to get better, and then we're going to enter December, and then we're going to enter some mysteries because I received the moon card concerning December. I'm really curious what that's about, and you can never really know what it is because the whole card is basically surrounded by mystery. That's almost like the tarot decks, like, hey, man, I don't even know either. You're just going to have to deal with it and just try to not be afraid. That's basically what the card boils down to, and that's what I'm going to be enduring here. It's going to be a mix of good and bad, I'm sure, and I'm going to survive it, and you're going to survive your ups and downs. We're all going to survive our shit, and if we die, it's because, hey, it was our time to go, and we got to deliver our experience back to Source, so Source can learn more about itself and why it's so sick in the head. All right. Have a good night, guys.